Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to another vlog. Today's vlog is an informational vlog about the dashboard light. Now, when you switch on the car basically into the ignition on position, all the lights basically illuminate on your dashboard. Now, what does that signify is that the car is basically doing a self check on itself, making sure that all the systems are working fine. But what happens is when you start the car, all these lights go away. Now, what if one of the lights or two of the lights, oh boy, if you have two lights, there are like way too many problems in your car. But what if you have one of the lights that remains on even after you switch on the car? Now, that's a sign that, that there is something wrong with the car. Basically, these are, lights are meant to tell you that that you know there is something wrong going on in the car or some system is not working now what do these lights mean like, because it's very important to know like what what all these lights signify or what signal or warning they give you in order to learn that today i am going to be showing you exactly that what each and all or what each and every light means without wasting much time let me show you that. As I mentioned before, these warning lights are a way that your car is signaling that there is something wrong with the system. Basically, some or the other function is not working right in the car and that may need immediate attention based on the warning lights. Now, the warning lights are basically like your traffic lights. They are color coded. They are color coded so that they have a different level of potential danger now red color lights uh, the, the the symbols with the red color lights are the, the the symbol which are for potentially safety problems or some serious problems in your car now that may need immediate attention which basically means you should just stop driving your car and have a look at it now orange or the yellow color light are basically to tell you that it is just a reminder that, uh, that, that there is something which is not right and that may need an immediate attention if not straight away but then once you stop the car safely on the side and then you can just get it checked the other color lights colored lights are the green color the green colored lights are basically to tell you that the system is on and it is working basically your headlights your um, um, your upper and the dippers and it's just a way to tell you that the function is on in order to understand what the, the, the lights in detail means I'm gonna explain you every little symbol what it means on the dashboard and how much attention that needs Without wasting much time, I'll show you that now. So that's basically my dashboard. Not a surprise, everyone knows what a dashboard is, but here we go. This is the dashboard and let me show you the lights that illuminate. Like if you see the yellows and the red, and there was a green light for a brief moment. Let me show you again. Goodbye. Here we go. See the green light, the, the, the yellow ones and the red ones. Now, these red lights are basically the, the, the potentially dangerous one or a serious problem that your car has. And if that is on, you may have to stop immediately. The other ones are the, ye the yellow or the orange lights, whatever you take it. Different cars have different colors basically. Some may have orange, some may have yellow. In our case, this is a yellow colored light. Now, a yellow colored light sometimes means, it usually means that something needs to be repaired or serviced soon. And in, in the meantime, you should be operating with caution the other light that i was talking about if you see the green lights and the blue light green and the blue 
now that the green dashboard lights usually indicate that the system is on or operating and the light is just a visual cue in order to understand each and every symbol what i am going to do is i am going to show you the symbol on screen on this side and then i'll be explaining what each and every symbol means and what 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 is the potential danger if if you don't pay attention to it first we start with the warning symbols which are the red colored lights and to start off we start with the first light which is the engine temperature light now this symbol when it pops up on your screen this basically means that your coolant is overheating now in these cases all you have to do is park your car in a, in a safe place and then let your car cool down because if you continue to drive your car like that you may end up overheating the engine and you may damage the engine block now to avoid that to make sure the car doesn't heat a lot you have to do a switch off all the gadgets the heated seats the air conditioning the radio and any accessories that is connected with the car this will help in making sure that the car doesn't heat up a lot the next light is the oil pressure warning now when this symbol pops up it basically means that your uh, oil pressure uh, you are losing oil pressure or it could be a fact that uh, uh, you know you are low on oil or there is some problem in the engine now in these cases all you have to do is again pull over call a mechanic get, get it checked because if you lose oil again you may end up damaging the engine block the next warning is the battery charge warning now this pops up basically to tell you that the alternator is not working basically the alternator is not charging the battery or the battery is having some issues but in most cases the alternator is a failure and that is why the light pops up now in these cases again you have to switch off all your gadgets your heated seats radio air conditioning every everything all the accessories that are connected with the car the the car charger the phone charger all you have to all, all all needs to be disconnected to make sure you preserve the battery and do not switch off the car because you may because the car may not start because of low battery so just make sure you just keep going till the battery dies the next set of warning is the brake warning light now this comes up to tell you that you left your handbrake on whenever you 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 uh, release the handbrake the light goes away but when this light stays on that means you are either running low on brake fluid or there is some problem in the braking system now this again needs an attention and it is a potentially dangerous problem so in order to make sure everything is okay you have to pull over call a mechanic and get your brakes thoroughly checked the next set of warning is the airbag indicator now airbag indicator light when it is on that means there is a fault in the airbag system now there are a lot of sensors that may go wrong because of which the airbag indicator warning may pop up on your screen but if that is on that means the airbag system has been armed and in some cases it may just blow on its own it may, because it is armed so in order to get this problem rectified you have to immediately take it to a mechanic and show it because you don't want airbags to blow during your ride the next warning light is the seat belt indicator now it's it's, it's not really a warning light but it's just a reminder light to tell you that you are not wearing your seat belt and anyways hey you have to wear your seat belt i mean uh, it just belt is the most effective way to save your life in case there is an accident so make sure to wear your seat belt the next set of lights that we'll come to are the safety lights the yellow or the orange lights and to start off with we start with the engine warning light when this light pops up uh, and this essentially comes when you are driving so when this light pops up what it tells you is that there is an issue with your engine now this could be an electrical issues uh, or or there are a lot of reasons so 
the the common reasons can be like there's a failed oxygen sensor there the gas cap or the fuel cap is loose or damaged uh, the catalytic converter has a problem the the mass airflow uh, airflow sensor has a problem the spark plugs or the plug wires they may need replacing but just to make sure take it to a mechanic and get it thoroughly checked the next warning light is the traction control light the zigzag one now this light pops up when you take a sudden turn or when your car loses the control it basically tells you that your car is losing grip now to to get this light to go away all you have to do is you have to slow down get the control of your car and your car the the, the light would just go away but if it stays on then again you have some problem with the traction control i suggest you should get it checked the next light is the abs light now the the the, the abs light pops up during driving to tell you that the anti lock braking system is not working now if the light is on while you are driving it means the abs is not working properly your brakes will not work now if you slam your brakes hard the 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 chances are that you may lock your brakes because the abs is not working to the abs is basically functions in that way to make sure that you don't lock your brakes up at high speeds and when you just slam your brakes hard but to make sure that doesn't happen just get your abs checked and make sure to rectify that problem the next light is the tire pressure warning light now this light is is an indication to tell you that you have low pressure in your tire just go to any petrol station and fill air and this light should just go away the next warning light is the low fuel indicator light or basically the fuel light now that is a seat belt light which i just discussed before this will go away when i put on the seat belt so the low fuel indicator light now this basically turns orange or yellow to warn you that you are running low on fuel the high beam light which is this one and this is the normal lights which is on now i can switch that off or whenever i switch it on the green light comes on now that basically means that your lights are on it is just to indicate that the system is working the next light or a reminder is the service indicator which is showing up right now in my car this basically means and also it is showing me a maintenance for the tires now this just tells you that you have it just reminds you the car reminds you that you your car is due for servicing and also in this case it is telling me that i need to change my tires or either uh, my tires need some sort of maintenance the last light is the low wind shield fluid indicator now that basically means that you are running low on washer fluid just stop it up and that light should just go away remember to take these lights seriously as you may not know what will happen to your car the next moment if you decide to ignore it whenever in doubt take your car to a mechanic or sought some professional help and make sure to clear these warnings if you haven't watched my previous videos on how to maintain your tires then you can check it from this link if you want to check out my video on how to get out of cruise control you can watch it from here give it a thumbs up if you've liked this video and make sure to like share and subscribe for some amazing videos to come bye bye